Hi, how are you doing? This week I'm at a bit of a loose end because this was the week that I was going to take the van off the road and strip it all out so I could crack on with the rest of the uh, camper van conversion. Unfortunately, I overlooked the fact that my car's MOT expired on Monday and I'm going to have to use the van as transport now. So while the car's off the road and I'm using the van, there is a little job that I would like to get out of the way. And actually this might be a good time to do it while the bed's still in. I'll go and get the van and I'll tell you about it. Well, I don't know how well you can see, but the bed is quite a height. It's, um, it's 110 centimeters to the top of the bed. I sometimes get a nosebleed when I get in, it's so high. Now it didn't get that high by accident. I planned it to be that high because uh, I needed storage for my push bikes in the garage area or under the bed. But it did cause us some problems getting in and out this summer when we were using it in its half finished state. So what we were using was some steps. Those steps. And although they did work okay, they weren't that steady and you had to put them away every time you wanted to drive somewhere. So what I'm thinking of doing is making some steps that would go some, somewhere like that. I haven't completely figured it out yet. But some steps that would go there, obviously there would be two with some rungs. Another one down here and so with the rungs across. And something that would fold level with the bed fascia when you weren't using them and so they wouldn't be in the way of the sink or the cupboards under the sink so as I say I don't know exactly what I'm going to do but um, it'll be along those lines so we'll see what I come up with well I, I had a bit think last night and I went on the computer just to put some of my thoughts down nothing professional um, I'll try and put them up on the screen now and if you can understand them I'm impressed well there's been a couple of snags shall we say when I uh, was doing the build I tried to make it so that if I wanted to use it as a van I could take the bed out and not the gas appliances or anything like that but just like the beds and things like that so I could use it as a van um, but there's one screw I can't get to without taking everything else off behind the fascia and uh, it seems like it's probably a good thing because when I made the legs and made them so they um, would open up to allow you to get on the steps they were catching on the fascia so I've had to cut that sort of shape out of it and these are the the legs where the rungs go across and um, I've done one so this one now works okay and I've got to try and replicate it onto the second one I don't know if you can see the lines that's the lines to cut out I'm trying to make them both the same and then move on and put the rungs in the, in the middle um, just doing it um, suck it and see really see how it turns out so um, I'll talk to you later well we've got the first one mounted temporarily mounted and it uh, swivels up and swivels down and you can see why I had to cut the the piece out because it was captured on the fascia of the bed um, but that seems okay so I'm going to try and get this one set up and then try and make the other side exactly the same obviously too much so in true Royal Forest fashion can you tell what it's going to be yet well we want to mark the position of the first rung on the ladder and I'm not a joiner so I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it but this is how I'm going to do it um, 
I've got some step ladders in the workshop and I've measured the height of the first step and it's eight inches to the top of the step. Now the wood that I'm going to make the rungs out of is an inch. So that means we want a line seven inches. Well, these two blocks are seven inches and I've put them on the floor and put that to there at the lowest possible point that I can and drawn a line and there I hope you can see that is the line for the bottom rung which will be there so the top of the bottom rung will be there which will be eight inches off for, off the floor and doing it this way the reason I've done it this way I should say is because I want it parallel with the floor I didn't want the step to be wonky I wanted it to be parallel with the floor and spirit levels are no good in a, a van because you don't know if the van is level so I thought that was the best way to do it so we'll crack on and get this side done and then try and replicate it on the other side put it all together and fingers crossed well we've got the two side bits done now um, I'm not sure what you call them sides probably and the first rung is in and um, I put a brace in here just to um, keep the two sides parallel and to give it some strength while I'm working on it I don't want to break it before I finish it so it's it doesn't feel too bad and as I say the bottom rung is on I've measured the steps that I was talking about before in the garage and they are just over eight inches between each step but I think we're only going to get another one rung in so I think we're going to make it a bit bigger than that not much and the way I'm going to do it is I'm assuming that one is level so I'm going to put these woods in and they are I think they're eight and a half inches. Where's me? I think they're eight and a half inches. Just over, just over eight and a half inches. And then there'll be the inch of the rung. So that'll be nine and a half inches. So I think that'll be about right. So I've got that and I'm gonna mark it, but I'm just, I've just cut this to try it. And that rung, and it's a nice snug fit we'll go there that's probably not not level because I'm only trying it I'll mark it properly before I fit it permanently and that should be the second step um, and that's probably all I'm gonna do today I'll uh, come back tomorrow and um, do the rest well I got the second rung fixed last night and ready so this morning I've just fitted it um, just with two screws so I can um, just get to see what it's going to be like and now I need to turn my attention to the stairs that's um, that's going to going to keep it in place um, that's seven inches off the floor now the two blocks and the step is parallel um, all looks quite good actually um, but I've had an awful job this morning trying to work out this um, the um, the stairs what I'm calling the stairs is um, going to come out from here and go to there I don't think you can see that very well hopefully that's better it's uh, we're a bit short of space we're a bit cramped for the filming here I'm lying, lying on the floor <laughs> um, the stair what I'm calling the stair is going to be folded up when not in use as so is the, uh, the steps and 
um, when you want it you pull that out obviously you won't have the blocks of wood on the floor and the stair will come down and um, support the steps now um, I'm trying to get it so that it's a right angle because as Archimedes said something about a right angle is the strongest um, way to support it uh, as usual I don't think I'm explaining it very well but hopefully you'll see when it's all done and I'll sh show you it um, when it's working but um, I thought this bit would be the easy bit and it's uh, it's not turning out that way well the step is mounted now and the stairs are cut to size and mounted now and um, it's almost finished it's it needs to be finished off which I'm not going to do in this video because as I said earlier um, I'm going to take the van off the road in the winter to uh, carry on with more of the conversion and all this will be coming out the bed the partition wall will all be coming out to give me more room to do the conversion so the things that I need to do would all be much easier will be much easier done when it's out so I'm not going to take it out put it back take it out put it back so um, it's it's as far as it's going to go for this video um, I'll um, give you a closer look in a second um, one of the things that needs to be done is it needs to be sanded down and varnished to match the underbed the ceiling and the walls and um, just in case you're interested what I use is the Ron Seal satin yacht varnish um, it's very expensive but it does exactly what it says on the tin so you know I think it looks really good um, so it has to all be sanded down and varnished and um, finishing off but I'll just show you it now so I've got a little clip to keep it because it's, it's it's attached there now quite tight to the wall take this out this comes out the stairs drop down and that's it in its out position well the moment of truth do you think it'll take my weight I'm nearly seven and a half stone you know no problem so I'll give you a closer look now well I'm not really sure what to say um, I'll just uh, do a recap on um, what I was attempting to do when I made it um, I wanted the step to be um, 8 inches off the floor and that's it 8 inches which has worked out well second rung was going to be just over nine and a half which it is just over nine and a half to the next step it is um it is parallel to the floor and the uh, stairs what i'm calling stairs um or 90 degrees to the steps to the side of the steps um which is i don't know if if that was say there mounted there it wouldn't be as strong uh, i hope you um understand what i'm trying to say about that that is the strongest way 90 degrees any angle there that would be less than 90 degrees would be less strong um you can see how I had to cut away to miss the the fascia and this all now folds folds away so you, up there 
I've um, put these blocks in so that when it's folded they push against there and keep the stairs tight against the wall as well so everything fits nicely and that clips over there and when the pin is in it's it's tight against the wall so it shouldn't rattle uh, or anything like that as I say um, it's not the only thing that needs to be varnished I haven't done that yet either um, but the difference and the ceiling is the same um, that run seal stuff is really good um, but that's it well that's the end of the video now a bit of a strange one this week um, well unusual but I hope you uh, were entertained or got something out of it if you want to do it on your, in your van um, so that's it um, take care and until the next oh my car did pass its MOT this morning so the van will be taken off the road um, next week and um, hopefully see you soon with more camper van conversions you take care thanks for watching